Hello everybody, Pro Fox here coming back at you with another toy review and um you see a lot of stuff on the table right now. I post this up to uh Twitter and the uh YouTube community tab and all that stuff, you know, just getting it out there. These are really neat. And it is an instant figure collection for around twenty to thirty dollars. These are the Final Faction action figure toy line, which is, I would say, is exclusive to, like, Dollar Tree and stuff as I'm panning around here. I apologize. I also apologize if there is noise in the background. It is a very beautiful day here in the neighborhood where I am at in Illinois, and there is a lot of activity. So, hopefully, I can keep the noise at bay for the duration of this review. But, if that's the case, um, we just... We, we soldier through, soldier through. I got to get this stuff out to you guys. And this is just something I feel like is just very, very, very cool. Um, I kept seeing them in Dollar Tree. Uh, figures look neat. The packaging was pretty striking. It gave me the whole uh, nostalgia for the three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe toy line, which I happen to also be a very, very big fan of and collect a lot of. And these guys fit in there. And I figure, well, the price is right because they're, from the dollar store a dollar per figure and like i just panned around and you just saw every one of these and not a dollar dollar 25 now because that's what dollar tree is um but uh yeah i figure how can you go wrong i'll pick up a couple for a buck and use them maybe even just for customizing but um the thing that was really shocking about all of these is that the plastic quality is in they're, they're incredibly well put together all things considered being that they are a dollar store toy and the uh, characters themselves look pretty cool they got some really cool things going on and again we're going to get another pan and i will just go briefly over everyone here because there's a lot of toys going on but they even had like vehicle packs and stuff and weapon packs and that's you know the one thing about that is is um that's where to get you like each toy will come with an accessory and then they mention the whole weapons packs are available sold separately and that's where they get you but of course you're spending a buck on different things so it's pretty wild and um like i said the the plastic quality themselves is really good but we'll get into that in a second in comparisons and articulation all that stuff but first i do want to show you what really caught my eye as far as just the packaging went so we got the packaging and again that's really just the way the artwork was done definite throwback to the old school a real american hero gi joe line flip over to the back and again you even have clip out file cards they show you the characters and stuff like that and they uh do different things and with the vehicles and stuff too you know this is one of the vehicle packs and it's just super super neat and just really thought it just looked cool and all of these little things here and they get add-ons and such but uh Enough of the packaging, enough of the packaging. We'll get into actually talking about the toys. And first and foremost is the quality. Yes, these are Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree toys. These are Dollar Store toys. How is the quality on them? Well, we'll take a look. This guy here is Sergeant Steadfast. And, uh, you know, definitely uh, looks cool. You know, the helmet comes off. You know, the, the head sculpting is halfway decent like the paint obviously being that uh they're dollar tree toys you know dollar store toys the paint isn't perfect um but it does look pretty good for three and three quarter inch style figures pop the helmet back on him he's even got a very solid translucent arm here which is really cool um and this looks like the bfg from doom and that's pretty awesome so i may if i can track another one of him down just to paint him up as the doom guy and have him wielding around the B, uh, bfg but just all overall really cool the plastic quality is really good it doesn't feel like thin horrible uh frail plastic it's actually pretty solid quality um articulation on all of the figures you get five points you got the head swivels arms rotate nothing at the elbows and then the legs go forward so pretty basic stuff again and a lot of people will be like, oh, well, that articulation is pretty terrible, you know, considering that, you know, action figures do this, that, and the other thing. And I want to show you something. And this is going to be another review coming up really soon. 
is um these guys have the same articulation now this is the super seven reaction m bison which i got recently and the plastic quality feels the same the articulation let's get this camera down a little bit get that the articulation is the same the plastic quality feels just about the same and i can't get him to stand upright because his one leg is set i'm gonna have to get in and set lower than the other one so i'm gonna have to get in and fix that which was a shame coming out of the package the way it did but same articulation same build quality you know really really impressive so that's definitely something to be said that we have that kind of quality coming off of a dollar store toy so we get that out of the way and we'll uh take another quick little comparison here now this is an ac another actual gi joe figure i hate like i said i'm a big gi joe fan so i have a ton of different gi joe figures and this is one I could grab relatively quickly off of the shelf, but that is Valor versus Venom Overkill. And as you can see, again, the three and three quarter inch style action figure stand up really well to them. So that's good. And we're talking about the good guys right now. We'll talk about the bad guys because this is another really cool thing here. And we'll leave him off to the side for more comparisons. But the bad guys. You know, the, the villains, I'm guessing, of this show, or this toy line. And they do have a show. They even have a comic book um, available and stuff. But the uh, Karn is what they're called. You know, they have this really super cool sci-fi looking thing. And we got, you know, like this guy here. Uh, let's go ahead and pan the camera back over this way. Here, we'll talk about these two guys first. Because this is also pretty neat. When was the last time you saw missile firing features on toys these days these two here one is i believe this is the decimator and this is the huntra so they're little turret based creatures and these are also even articulated which is pretty impressive their limbs move um you can turn the turret and you have missile firing capabilities which is awesome you know so again just real real as i lose the missile now real cool throwback to like old school you know, three and three quarter inch figures. Um, so yeah, you got those guys there, you know, your little drone type stuff, uh, the decimator and the huntra. And then we'll go ahead and get those out of the way so we can kind of focus more on some of the guys towards the center here. And then we'll talk about the, the heroes. And speaking of drones, and this guy is armed up with one of the weapons packs. That is a drone. And again, they have the same articulation, so the head swivels, arms rotate and stuff. The alien weapons look cool. That's a little alien backpack that I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, some kind of like blaster or whatever. But he's, you know, pretty gross alien imp from Doom looking dude, which is really cool. Now, and on these, they just kind of do a quick little paint wash over the plastic to, you know, kind of make them sci-fi looking. But that's neat. That's a drone. Then we got... This guy here is called the Synthoid, and I actually stored another weapon from another weapon pack on his back because I had too many. And again, now this guy doesn't have a head to speak of, so it's just the torso bit and uh, this and that. And they do have different parts of the lines, like the black and gold heroes, which I'll talk about shortly, um, are called the Elite. And then these are called the Venom uh, Redecos. Um, but yeah, just really cool as far as I'm concerned, and this, something out of, like, I don't want to say Dead Space, uh, yeah, maybe less Dead Space, more kind of, again, any kind of sci-fi stuff you can think of, that guy just looks really, really cool as far as I'm concerned, that's just a cool-looking alien-type bad guy-looking thing, it just, you see this walking down the street, and all of a sudden, you're, um, not having a good time, but one of the, uh, one of my favorites out of this entire line, um, and again, he's armed up out of this is the Karn, um, what do they call this guy? Again, I got to remember what they call him. I got all the packages on the floor next to me here and I can't remember names. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Brute. He is the Karn Brute. And uh, again, armor pack, he's got a, a gigantic hammer, you know, uh, what I would imagine would be a projectile style backpack. Uh, and then this this really bug looking shield kind of thing, which is really cool. But this, the sculpt and everything, this reminds me of like a cyber demon from Doom. 
So just the way the horns are sculpted and just, it just looks, for me, that looks really cool. It's just a really cool villain alien type character. We'll get him off to the side. And then this is, um, this next bad guy here, we're going through all the Karn, but you know, the bad guys, the Karn first, this is, uh, Crepitus. So he's a named character. And again, I got him armed up, bring this up and he looks again, really cool. Same articulation, got him armed up with one of the weapons packs and stuff like that but just really cool sci-fi alien baddies you know that look really cool and i'll be on my way to tracking more of these down eventually but we'll get him out of the way and then we'll take overkill and show that uh they stand these guys are a little bit bigger than that so i want to say they're about more of the four inch range but uh we get that out of the way we get that out of the way we'll go ahead and get overkill out of the way we did our comparisons but then they even come with or they even have different little vehicle sets. So, and again, you get your base vehicles, which I showed you the package for. This is called the Rumbler, and this has its weapon add-on pack. So it looks like a complete thing, but this even looks like some kind of weird, crazy, crazy creature. It's got a scorpion tail. It's got wheels. The wheels roll fairly decently. It's got little claws on the front for its weapon add-on. And then... um. We'll go back here, and then they got the black and green Venom redeco of it, and it's just that's just really cool looking. Let's yeah, you know, let's do this. Let's get the camera up. Got to do a lot of camera adjusting here, but the way you just the way it looks is just really cool. And the paint decos are done actually fairly decently, considering once again all of these figures are a dollar a piece. They aren't super, super expensive at all. And the plastic quality is really good considering um, not just for being a Dollar Street toy or a Dollar Street, a Dollar Tree toy, but just action figures in general. I would definitely be really okay with bringing these, you know, giving these figures to the kids and giving them an entire set of them and not worried about them getting destroyed and being throwaway playthings when they get, you know, they're, they're, they seem like they would be pretty substantial and hold up for even rough type play for, for kids and stuff. Now, like something like this guy here, these are a little thinner. So it would be, you know, and again, that's, that is articulated. That'd be a little thinner. So I'd maybe be worried a little bit about that kind of breaking, but like something like this, here, like the decimator, that's thick. That's a lot of plastic on there, so I wouldn't be worried about that snapping. And, you know, outside of somebody, like, intentionally, like, bending joints the way they're not supposed to be bent and stuff, which can happen to any other type of action figure, especially the size, but um, just really good quality. It's really shocking, the fact that this is not your typical dollar store knockoff stuff. And now let's get over to the heroes. Like I said, this one is probably one of my favorites. This is uh, Steadfast. You know, and then we'll get close-ups on all these other guys. We have Scope. He's the sniper guy, I'm guessing. Now, the paint, again, like I said, some, some of the paint apps are less than stellar, but again, for a dollar, you can't go wrong. But even the detailing is just done really well. You got some decent sculpted and detailing, and that looks good. You know, everybody comes with one or two accessories out of the package, but then you can get the weapons pack to supplement. And then you have, this is Amari, I believe it is, and comes with like a kind of spiked baseball bat. And again, you know, head sculpt wise is done really well. And that, those paint apps are done incredibly well. I like that one a lot. And just the sculpting is done really well. You know, and then we go into uh, Shift, who's the ninja chick of the, of the the team apparently and that's not molded on that's actually a backpack piece and these two swords come out of the backpack piece the holster and now i do also have the elite version which is the black and gold redeco of shift and you know the head uh the the paint apps on the head here are done a little bit better than the black and gold one um but again just really good looking stuff you know and the, again the plastic quality is solid it's not like i'm you know, as I'm doing anything with them, I don't feel like they're going to break. Now, these arms are a bit thinner, so I would definitely, again, I don't want to say play with care, but obviously if you bend them out in a way you're not supposed to, um, 
it's just the way it goes. Um, this is probably my other favorite of the line, and he's got a weapons pack attached to him. This is Riptide. He's just a big, beefy dude, and apparently these are supposed to be color-changed little bits on there, and that's really neat. Um, and then they even have their own little turret, and again, all of those leg pieces are articulated, so we even have a turret for that. Uh, Steel, he's pretty cool looking, you know, flight-based hero and nice translucent here translucent flight pack there looking pretty good looking pretty good and then we already talked about the black and gold elite shift and then we got rook who just has a lot of different ports for weapon pack add-on stuff and he kind of looks like he's a kind of enhanced cyborg looking dude and then we've got the hero vehicles as i'm knocking everybody over of course I'm going to knock everybody over. Why wouldn't I? Let's get these all cleaned up before we go into the hero vehicles here. Knocking all my stuff over, not being professional, and just goofy. Goofy, goofy, goofy. Um, get them all set up here. Let's get everybody stood back up. So make something of yourself, gentlemen and ladies. Let's get this all together here. Action figures. And that's what these are. Uh, you know, really, really well put together action figures as far as I'm concerned. Um, get them all standing up. Get them all standing up. Get them all standing up so we can talk about these vehicles. And boom, there we go. All right, so let's go to the hero vehicles. This is the uh, their ATV. What do they call this here? I have the, the Aero ATV, and both of them have the weapons add-ons. You have the Elite version. You have the regular version. Um, so let's go ahead, center, center, and bring this up, and just a really just, you know, kind of bare bones looking ATV Jeep style stuff with the weapon pack add-on, now let's do this here, with the weapon pack add-on here. Now the uh, roll cage plastic, um, because it's, it's thinner, they're thinner bar type pieces, so this is a little more flexible than I'd like it to be, but again, for a dollar... I'm not going to complain. Now, the add-on part, the add-on pack for the Arrow is also a dollar. So, you get this front shield piece, you get the bumper guard, you get the side guards, and I believe it was the guns. So, the base vehicle is just the Jeep, the roll cage, the seat, and the steering wheel, obviously. But that's just for, for $2. That is a G.I. Joe-sized ATV. And then the Elite version, the gold version, we'll bring over here now. We'll get this out of the way. And again, now, we'll, now the only concern I would have with this is the gold plastic because I, you know, gold plastic syndrome is a thing in all toys, not just Transformers. Um, it seems like it's okay. I don't see many swirl marks, maybe here, but hopefully, you know, who knows? And it seems like this plastic is definitely a little thinner. You can kind of see through it. So hopefully over time that doesn't disintegrate. I mean, again, it's a dollar. So what are you going to go wrong? But that looks like a very cool, heavily armed ATV. And that's neat. That's just really cool. And again, these are G.I. Joe size. So, you know, they'll sit well with your G.I. Joe collection. Your G.I. Joes can go in there, whatever, whatever three and three quarter inch style figures you got. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of wrap this up and talk about it. Now that I've kind of shifted everything around a bit, let's take some of my favorites here. We're going to take the Brute and put him up front. We'll get the Brute. We'll go ahead and get uh, Mr. Steadfast up front. We get Riptide up front because he's cool with this little arm, uh, mech arm kind of thing. Go on, this is some of my favorites. These these three are probably my favorites right now. I do, and I am actively looking for the rest of the set. And as you can see, with weapons packs and vehicles, we've got an entire figure collection sitting right here right now. And for, for kids, you have an entire army to play with. And that's where I would recommend this. I mean, you can't go wrong. I spent, in what's here on the table right now, I want to say $25. $25 got me all of this at the Dollar Tree. And $25 these days would be lucky to get you two uh, G.I. Joes from Hasbro. 
this size, three and three quarter inches. I don't even think they're even doing them anymore. But you know, your typical three and three quarter inch style figures, uh, it won't, it won't get you that anymore. You'd be lucky to get two figures. This is an entire set of stuff, accessories, vehicles, figures. It's just, you know, it, the value is here which is really, really awesome. This is what really drew it to me. Outside of the fact that the packaging really kind of gave me the nostalgic feels for like old school G.I. Joe stuff. It's just really cool. Um, would I recommend this if you are a fan or a collector of the three and three quarter inch style figures, you know, like the old Real American Hero G.I. Joes, um, old Star Wars stuff, um, the Super 7 reaction figures or any, any of those lines. Yeah, I definitely like them. They fit well in your shelves of those collections. Um, get them uh, for, for kids. This is an absolute must. If you're a parent with kids and you want to go ahead and spend 20 bucks and you basically have an entire play sets worth of stuff here, the, the value there alone, because these will hold up the play. I've been messing with them here and there and putting them together and nothing breaks, nothing snaps. Um, I did have two posts break off on the green and black rumbler uh, as I was putting it together. But, you know, I just glued that on and nine times out of ten when I find like loose accessories, I just glue them on anyway. Um, so that was something. But uh, everything else is just really well constructed. Uh, the plastic quality is good. I would definitely be comfortable if I had younger children taking them to Dollar Tree and blowing 20 bucks on an army's worth. And just the, the villains themselves, these Karn baddies are just, that's just cool, evil kind of sci-fi alien kind of army building stuff anyway. It's just really neat. And they go real well with like your G.I. Joe stuff. It's just it's cool it's cool it, it, you know the initial visuals of them drew drew me to them and i went in hard and i'm still buying more i got one that i was uh not being able to find i, I got him coming off of ebay which is a really cool looking character i'll have a review of him coming up uh later on down the line i'm actually going to go out uh this video is going to go up monday i'm filming this friday so i'm going to go out today friday to another dollar store to see if I can find more of these ones that I'm missing because it's just a cool line. It's neat. An instant figure collection for $20 to $30. You cannot go wrong. And if you are like me, who is a fan of the old school of Real, uh, Real American Hero G.I. Joe stuff, this will give you the nostalgia feels. Just it, it hits you right there. It takes me back. The articulation, yeah, five points articulation, but we're getting that out of a lot of these size figures now anyway, and they're being sold for a premium price. With this, you know what you're getting. You're spending a dollar on $1.25 on an action figure. Custom fodder, if you are a customizer, absolutely. The, this would make awesome, awesome custom fodder too, you know. Um, just making custom care. Like I said, I want to buy another one of him or another couple of him, maybe do a Doom guy out of them, and then maybe even do a Master Chief, you know, because it fits, you know, just finding just different things to do with them but it's just a cool line it's you know who would have thought that you know a toy collector would be talking about a dollar tree toy line but here we are and it's really good it's i'm i'm impressed with it i you know the takeaway here is is that i am impressed with this dollar tree has uh, a hit on its hand and i know like i said there's a comic book tied to it um there is an animated series tied to it, which I have not watched yet, but I'll probably give it a shot. And I know there's other characters I'm working on getting in one of the characters in the show, and they do have a toy for it, which drives me nuts that I can't find them yet, but hopefully I come across them today, is uh, Troro, which is a little dog that actually pilots his own mech. He has a mech armor of a dog for a dog character. So that's just too cool. It's just a lot of really cool ideas. Nothing falls flat. It seems very cohesive. Um, you, your redecos look really good. Uh, your original paint schemes look really good. Like, again, some of them, maybe the paint apps could be better. You can touch them up yourself if you have that kind of talent. Um, but, you know, for, for somebody who finds this line, like, hey, I want to actually jump into this and collect this. Yeah, you can, you know, go ahead and touch them up and make them look really good without feeling bad about it whatsoever because every single toy in this line is $1.25 a piece. You cannot go wrong. And for the kids, 
instant figure collection for 20 bucks. I would definitely be cool with, you know, showing up with a ginormous box of this stuff at a kid's birthday and they'd love it, I'm sure. It's just cool. It's cool. And if you're into the, this kind of stuff, the sci-fi sci army kind of stuff, uh, and again, three and three quarter inch size uh, figure, you know, size point for these figures, which is something I'm a big fan of anyway. That's how, where I prefer my action figures to be at. It's just, it's a hit, man. It's a hit. I definitely recommend this for everybody um, who I mentioned I would recommend it for. So for kids, three and three quarter inch size figure collectors, um, customizers, fans of G.I. Joe, fans of sci-fi kind of stuff. I mean, you, you, you just can't go wrong. You got cool looking figure designs. You've got cool army building possibilities with all the car and alien baddies. Um, the vehicles are neat. What else can I say? I've yacked on for about 26 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I will leave you all with this hard, hard recommendation on this line. Get your hands on this stuff. This is really cool. Um, and I say unto you this, be kind to yourself and your fellow human beings because life is too short. So play on. I will see you in the next video. Definitely pick these up. These are cool.